Should you make software that is not games with Unity? If you're looking for the short answer, then let me ask you this. Is your app something like Facebook, Duolingo, or SolarLearn? Then no, probably not. If your app is something that relies on 3D rendering, or maybe virtual reality or augmented reality, then yes, maybe. If you're looking for the longer answer, then things aren't as black and white. Throughout this video, I'll cover the pros and cons of building an app in Unity and give my opinion on what apps should and should not be made in Unity. I'll also talk about what alternatives you have and in the end, I'll show you the app that I made in Unity and tell you what went right and what went wrong. If only one of these topics interests you, then I have left timestamps in the video that you can jump to. So what are the pros and cons of building an app in Unity? The first point I'm going to talk about is battery drain. Before we dive into this, we must understand how Unity app works and how they're different from regular apps. If you've done any type of Unity programming, then you're familiar with functions such as update and fixed update, and you're probably aware that these functions are running constantly. For games and apps that rely on physics, this is a great advantage, but for stationary apps like chatting apps and social media, this is a big overkill. These apps rely on events that are triggered whenever something happens on screen, such as the user pressing a button or dragging their finger across the screen. So if the user doesn't do anything to the app, then the app is just kind of there waiting for something to happen, which doesn't consume a lot, if any, resources from the device. Unity, on the other hand, is constantly running processes in the background, such as the functions I mentioned previously. This will cause a simple chat app made with Unity to consume a significantly larger amount of battery than an app that was made natively. This brings me to my next point, native UI. Unity does not have native UI by default, obviously. Now, you can fake it, of course, but it will never be the real deal. Now, is this a bad thing? Well, depends on your preference. I honestly don't mind having non-native UI, and Unity's UI system has a lot of pros in its favor. In fact, I find Unity's UI system to be one of the simplest ones to use once you get used to it. It also allows you to easily make animations for your UI in order to make things pop a little more, whereas you'd probably have to code the animations yourself if you're coding this natively. Not to mention that you'd only have to do these things once for every platform, since Unity is cross-platform. Which brings me to my final point, Unity is cross-platform. While most native frameworks already have some sort of cross-platform going on, there are almost always changes to be made whenever you want to port your app to another platform. Almost. This heavily depends on what tools you're using. Some apps may not even need any changes, so please do keep that in mind and do your research on the topic and what tools you want to use. Nothing good is free though, and having so many tools at your disposal does come with a price. A Unity app with nothing inside of it will already be 30 to 40 megabytes in size, even though it's completely empty. So now that we've had a look at the pros and cons of Unity, I would like to show an example app that I've made a couple of months back using Unity, um, just so we can see some comparison between other normal apps. Right, so here is an app that I made for my sister. It's just an example app that I used. Um, and as you can see, it runs pretty well and you cannot really tell the difference um, between this and just a regular app other than the UI, which is a lot different than the native UI. But as you can see, it still behaves normally as you would expect. It's a simple ordering app for food. Um, there's a little help tab here. Um, and it works just fine. It works with a REST API along with Firebase. It connects well. There are tools available for that, but you could also just as well do this with other platforms. If Unity doesn't look like your cup of tea, there are lots and lots of alternatives out there. Assuming that the people watching this video feel comfortable with Unity or C Sharp, I'd recommend looking into Xamarin Forms to begin with. It is a C Sharp framework and it is very similar to using WPF or Windows Forms. Apart from that, I've heard plenty of good things regarding React Native and Flutter, but once again, do your own research on these topics before jumping into a big project. On the other hand, if you watch this video and decided that Unity is the way to go, then I'd recommend you watch this talk by John Manning on how to do it efficiently. Link is in the description. That is it for today. I hope you found this helpful or informative, and do please let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thank you for watching.